Greetings everyone, P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Merry Christmas and welcome to pick number seven of my favorite 31 albums of 2023. We're counting down each and every day here this month in December. We do it every December. My favorite albums of the year, your favorite albums of the year across all the genres that we cover here on the channel or basically whatever the hell you like, right? So uh, once again, Merry Christmas to everybody on this uh, not white Christmas morning here in New York. It's actually kind of pleasant, but... Uh, a little bit chilly, but nice. Got the family all around, sleeping here in the house. Actually, no, I recorded this a couple days early. There's nobody here yet. But when this video is airing, uh, we will all be kind of maybe uh, having breakfast or opening up presents under the tree. You know, whatever. Whatever it might be. Whatever. However you do it, enjoy your Christmas, everybody. But today we're going to talk, on Christmas Day, we're going to talk about a very cool band uh, from Japan. This album came out uh, June 16th here in 2023. It's uh, on Rise Above Records. Church of Misery, Born Under a Bad Sign. Yes, that's right. We're going to talk about a doom metal band from Japan who writes songs about serial killers here on Christmas morning. That's the way it goes, right? I didn't plan it that way. It's just the way it goes. Uh, I love these guys. I have to um, thank... Karen La Preziosa for getting me into this band. This is one of those bands that I always heard about, but uh, just never listened to because it's just too many bands to listen to. And Karen's uh, enthusiastic uh, love for this band made me decide to go check out a couple of their albums, and I instantly fell in love with them and bought their whole catalog and was waiting, waiting with anticipation for this album to come out in the summertime. And when it did come out, I was not disappointed at all. Uh, as, as you can tell, it made number seven on my list. Yeah, just love these guys. Again, Church of Misery, very awesome Japanese musicians, and they play music that is a complete homage to early... 70s Black Sabbath, Master of Reality era Sabbath, you know, Paranoid, that sort of thing. Maybe a little Volume 4, right? They throw a dose of psychedelia in there, and they all their songs are about serial killers, right? So here you've got uh, Beltway Sniper is all about uh, John Allen Muhammad, the Beltway Sniper, right? So you can, you can go look any of these guys up. They're all notorious serial, serial killers, right? Uh, Most Evil, Fritz uh, Harmon, Freeway Madness Boogie is all about Randy Kraft, uh, Murder Castle Blues, H.H. H. Holmes, Spoiler, Haystacks, that's, that's the non-serial killer uh, song on here. They usually do maybe not on every album but or do they on every album they, they do great covers and they do very obscure covers so if you've never heard of the obscure uh, God, when did the Haystacks Belbo album come out 69, 70 something like that very obscure U.S. heavy rock band uh, from way back then. Uh, the song is called Spoiler. Very cool cover. Again, if you, uh, what's really cool about the covers they do is that if you're not really hip to these more obscure bands, you would just think it's another original song, right? And a very good one done their way. Uh, Come and Get Me Sucker is uh, all about David Koresh, and Butcher Baker is about Robert Hansen, that serial killer. And Butcher Baker is kind of long and drawn out and very, very psychedelic. It's the, the one psych kind of track on here. But yeah, Worship, Riff, or Die, that's what they say yes this is all about just absolutely crushing riffs so good um yeah i just really really love these guys a lot and uh so you've got um well oh boy i'm probably gonna i'm gonna butcher so tatsu mikami tatsu mikami he's the leader of the band he's on um, plays bass it's hilarious he's got his he plays a rickenbacker bass and it's he has the his strap is like spread all the way so the bass like hangs down by his knees it's absolutely hilarious uh to watch him play on stage but it's like it, it works right so uh kazuhiro aseda on vocals yukito okazaki on guitars and keyboards and uh toshiaki Umemura on drums on this album. They basically, you know, other than the bass player, they, the lineup of this band just changes from album to album to album. So, but it works and it always sounds like Church of Misery. So go figure. But yeah, Born Under a Mad Sign. And all their album titles are just hysterical. Their plays on other album titles or songs. And uh, yeah, here on Christmas morning, we're talking about doom metal. All about serial killers, but yeah, Church of Misery from Japan. Born Under a Mad Sign, their latest album on Rise Above Records is my pick number seven. Tune in tomorrow for pick number six, and visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, all together, all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and click on that notification bell to get alert of all of our content as it posts, and please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, yes, down there, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. It's greatly appreciated, and uh, have a wonderful holiday everybody we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow let us know your pick down in the comments below but we'll uh, see you tomorrow for pick number six till then i am p pardo 
Have a good one, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.